Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn Code with Nav. In the continuation of our CSV file series, today I will see and focus on this part. Now my requirement is I need to read server URL and save .csv file in local. Remote server URL should be configurable into properties file. In the, in the previous session, we have already seen how to read CSV files and process those data and save into database. After that, in the second part, we have seen how to read database data and generate CSV file using Spring Boot, Spring Data, JPA and MySQL. In this one, we will be covering on, there will be one remote server URL, let's say this one. I want to download this file and save into my CS uh, into local as a CSV format uh, first of all let me check this URL hit enter and it will give me one CSV file okay now what I want is I want to consume this URL internally in a Java code so that whenever I hit my rest endpoint it will download this file and save into my local directory let's see how do we how we can do that again I am creating one more rest endpoint and it should be get mapping and uh, this URL should be we have already used download so this should be something like download download file now I will use public since this is a rest endpoint method so it can be accessible from anywhere response entity response message mm. save file on local now let me create uh, one method service dot is file save locally this written type of this method should be boolean so we will put if condition here itself let me create this method if files saved locally then we will say return response entity dot status http status dot ok dot body in body I want to say new I want to create an instance of response message new response message and say file saved in local successfully from remote URL okay if is file saved locally written false then I would say copy this line paste it here <coughs> unable to download from remote URL unable to download from rem remote URL let's say in this uh, agenda of this session they are saying that 
remote server URL should be configurable into properties file. What does it mean? I want to give this URL in application dot properties file and read from there. Why am I doing this? It will give you idea how we can write code for reading key and value from application dot properties file in our Java code. First of all, let me define <coughs> let me define one key value in application dot properties file. Go there. Let's say I I will say server dot URL. URL will be this one. Let me save this one. Now, how we can write in controller? We can write by using annotation at the rate value. At the rate value, we need to give. Key name here. What is the key name? Key name is dollar server dot URL. Server dot URL is key name which is defined in application dot properties. We can refer using dollar angular bracket and so on. We will define URL will be of type a string. We can say this is server URL. Now use this server URL in our service layer. Now it will say the change method. Okay, I will change. It will ask me to override this method since it is implementing interface. You must know that interface, whatever the method interface contains that should be overrided in implementation class otherwise we need to define that class as abstract but we are not using abstract keyword that's why we need to give the implementation otherwise it will give me the error now this is my service layer now let's see how we can do it now we need to give the implementation for our service okay so what we have done so far we have created simple rest endpoint of type get and we are saying we have created one service method is file saved locally if it will return true then we will say file saved in local successfully from remote url if it will give me false then i would say that unable to download file from url now all the business logic should be in this service method now let's go to the implementation of it and try to give a first we need to define one flag that is boolean is file saved initially it will be false and uh, as uh, file saved in sys local then we would change its value false to true now we need to give the destination where we need to save this file let's say string file name go to C let me create one folder here I would say that this is my downloaded folder go here and I want to get the all the downloaded file here let me copy this one and give this path here and let's say I want to give name as abc.csv for now I'm using a static name we can provide dynamic name as well okay now let me play with the server URL and creating the file of it and save the file in this destination okay how we can do it first we need to def define <coughs> buffered input a stream 
from java.io package and define initialize with null let's say this is my input so I would say in initialize with null now I would need file output stream let's see I'm saying f out for this one and initialize with null as well now let me go with let me go to try block <coughs> and say in is equal to let me initialize this one new buffered input stream and uh, def created a one new URL object here this should be java.net.url and uh, say I want to get from the server URL call the open stream method from here okay now let me initialize f out which is file output stream <coughs> yeah, it's got new file output stream and this should be accept my file name okay now they are saying give me the catch block as well okay so whatever the exception will come while executing my code this will catch here okay which is fine now go inside it and say I want to create an array of byte type byte data with new byte with initial capacity of 1024 let me initialize one more variable int count so that it can count while performing operation in while loop I'm saying count <coughs> should be equal to in dot read it will accept data which is nothing but array of byte array and it will initial start from 0 to 1024 if it is not equal to minus 1 then I would say f out dot write data dot count when this while loop completely executed all the data then we will say is file saved is equal to true if all thing happen then I would say the two finally for me I would need nested of try it should have finally block finally we'll say if in in is nothing but buffered input stream is not equal to null Agar null nahi. if it is not null then it should we need to close it same for we won't need this bracket if we do have only one statement to execute it after if um, I would say f out which is file output stream if it is not null then dot close this is finally
if file is saved then we will initialize as true otherwise we will return as it is saying it will remain false okay we have done almost coding part let me go to controller again and see what we are doing we are hitting download file url and we are calling this method and this method internally calls service layer is file saved locally and server url locally we are saying that this is a flag which will identify whether file is saved or not and this is the destination okay everything processing goes all right then it will set is file set true or finally block means this code will be executed whether this code uh, try block contains any exception or not that means after finally it will be close the both object of input stream or output stream and finally return boolean value now let me save this one go to this one let me run java application now the url we need to change is download file let me check this one i press enter and they are saying file saved in local successfully from remote url let me go to my destination refresh this one and see the time 1623 and 1624 just now it is created if i would see this one it will contains all the data which is available on the remote server url file okay i hope you like this one if you like this one please do subscribe and share this video with your friends with the targeted audience or the right audience which is required for this video thank you for watching have a good day